Hey guys, welcome back to my space and welcome back to my channel. Things may look a little bit different today and that is because I'm filming from my home, from my little office rather than from the salon because we here in New Brunswick are in lockdown number three. We are about halfway through, presumably. I assume we are going to be back to work uh, the first week of February. However, we're just not, we're just not going there. But today we have another Will I Buy It. You guys really liked the last Will I Buy It. I really liked filming it. I really enjoyed looking through the brands. I didn't realize how much I was kind of maybe missing from some of the brands as far as uh, launches. So it was really cool to look. Also really interesting to kind of see what I found or a lack of what I found. More on that later. But let's just get started. So I will pop the pictures up here beside me. But the first Will I Buy It product is from Kiera Sky Nails. And it is their Gel FX Glitter Gel. So we all know that little video that's going around everywhere of that really luminous, really glittery, really well lit glitter nail. Just before we went off on lockdown, I know I had seen it a couple of times and had just, you know, recreated it with uh, some glitter gel top coat as well as some loose glitter to get that depth and to get that shine. But Kira Sky, I'm sure with many others, this is the one that I've seen for today, has put out their collection. So the points for this collection are the new Diamond FX collection features, ultra reflective finish under flash, under flash. We'll get back to that. Intense diamond dust under regular light. Fair. Great with natural lighting or flash. One swipe formula. Perfect for nail art and available in 12 shades. So first of all, available in 12 shades. Oh yeah, I love that. Love that. Ultra reflective finish under flash. Yep, they all are. I mean, I'm not saying they're not jumping on the bandwagon. Like the bandwagon's going if you're getting on it. As a product manufacturer, then I guess you're getting on it, right? You need to, that's what it is. Every glitter, given the right nail tech, given the right lighting, can look like this. Sometimes it's really hard to recreate some of those things that we end up seeing on Instagram and our clients bring us and kind of makes you a little feel weird about yourself after somebody brings you something and you can't really totally remanufacture that. Lighting, guys, like something like this, this is this is lighting. I have a couple of pictures of it. One of them uh, was a video and I'm, I'm hoping that I can upload that, but I'm not sure if I can. Will I buy it? Probably not. I don't actually recall ever purchasing anything from Kira Sky Nails. Probably nor will I. It's just one more thing for me to buy that's in a bottle that I have in a pot. Like, I have so much loose glitter. I love the Glitter Bells Fine loose glitters. If that is something, if you wanted to invest in more glitter, they have a beautiful collection. Um, there's a link down below and a discount code, little plug there, but it is truly my favorite loose glitter. So if you wanted to stock up, you could do that. Next thing on the list is going to be, I don't really understand this. Okay, so CND, I'm on the CND World Instagram. Does your New Year's resolution include strong, healthy looking nails? Our new CND Plexi Gel Color Builder in the shade Spiced Taffy, which color doesn't really matter, is a flattering, warm, Beige, create naturally enhanced nails with ease, without any damage, without any mess, without any experience. It doesn't say that. But this is a builder in a bottle situation. The one thing that caught my eye about this isn't about the product. CND makes good product. It's CND. It's creative nail design. They've been around longer than I've been a nail tech. Like they they can do product. Do you see this picture? I saved a couple of them. Two. One in particular when I blow it up, you guys are CND. Do you not have the largest or one of the larger marketing departments within the nail industry? What's happening here? These are clearly press on nails, which is totally fine. You're showing the color. It's got nothing to do with anything, but my God, put them on right. <laughs> Anyway, that's just me. When I look at that, that doesn't make me want to buy your builder gel. And I'm not a crazy picky person when it comes to that stuff, but like, that's that's just not what I expect from CND. 
Let's just put it that way. Am I gonna buy it? No. I use another brand of builder gel. I only use it on one client. I've had the same bottle for two years probably. I have another bottle in its wake waiting to be used that will probably be another year before I even tap into it. So no, I won't be purchasing this. Would I suggest it to a nail tech friend if they were looking for a builder in a bottle? Probably not because CND is weird is weird to get where I am and it's just not the first thing that comes to mind. I There are things that Sandy makes that I think are beautiful. I No, not this one and unfortunately not shellac. I talked about that a little bit in my last Will I Buy It. And my intention, I do want to say, is never to put a company down. This is Will I Buy It. Will I put my money that I am not making in these two weeks? And you know, I feel like the will I buy it is a little bit different on the heels of a lockdown when we haven't got any financial government help. Like I, I, and this is not getting political. This is not getting political, but I feel like it's even more so for me, a will I buy it for real, 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 because I don't have like, hey, I got a new client this week. I have some spare money. Let's, let's try this new product out. That's not happening. Will I buy it? No. I will not. The next thing I have in my will I buy it Instagram is Nails Lux Official. Nails Lux is Isabel May. If you haven't heard tell of Isabel May, she is a YouTuber. She is from the UK. I follow basically everyone I follow on YouTube right now is from the UK. I don't know how it happened, but it happened and I'm here for it and I love it. She is amazing. She is just the sweetest human being. She has the most amazing channel. I'll try to pop a picture up here, but she also has a brand called Nails Lux. I wanted to talk about, I think, two things. To be fair, it's a fairly small brand. Uh, 21,000 followers right now. Not that I really think followers make a huge difference. They kind of do. I mean, if people are funny anyway, that's a whole other... I keep going on tangents. She has just made this essential pressed chrome palette. And when I first seen it, she wasn't going to be, this This brand was not going to be part of my Will I Buy It today. I was scrolling and I seen this eyeshadow palette that was beautiful and I realized it was her, I realized it was her brand, and I realized it was chromes for the nails. I've had pressed chromes before. I don't mind them. Will I be purchasing them from the UK? because a lot of times we have to pay duties on that? Probably not. However, would I purchase it maybe if I could get it a little closer? Yeah, I likely would. She is doing, there's four shades, champagne gold, platinum silver, rose pink, and rich copper. I think that's kind of as per normal shades for chromes, especially as a set of chromes. I really like how they're packaged. I really like how they're put out, and I really like how she's kind of advertising them. I'm here for it. Would I buy them? Like if it wasn't for the duty situation, yeah, I probably would. Then what I was thinking I would really like to touch on with her brand is brushes. She has brushes. They are vegan. They are cruelty free. There's an essential collection. They go like A, B, C, D. She's named them that way and they go clear down to I. They go clear down to I. I would, I would really love to try A, C, and I. I think maybe a little G in there. Uh, will I buy them? You know what? In time, yes, I believe I will buy them. Right now, all things considered, probably not because I have some brushes that I really love right now and I actually have some new Nail Throne Glare Bells brushes on the way. But I will likely be using those. However, in the future, down the road, will I buy them? Yeah, I think I will. Uh, she does beautiful nail art. She seems like a very high quality product person. I would trust the product that she's selling. I, yeah, I would definitely buy these. And if you've bought them, let me know. I would love to hear from you about how you liked them. Comment down below so everybody can see how much you liked them. And go follow the Nails Lux um, Instagram page because I think, I think she deserves a follow. I think that's really, I think she's doing cool things. The next product that I actually screenshotted and put in my photos instead of in my Instagram because I couldn't find it on Instagram. Why? Was I maybe not looking in the right place? Maybe. I think if you're looking for a new launch from a brand, it should be fairly readily available. I looked on the Artistic Nail Design page and could not find their new launch. The last launch I could see was Christmas, winter, holiday 
ish. I thought that was a bit weird. I was talking with my friend Jamie and she said, I told her what I was filming today and she said, oh, you know, the Maritime Beauty Flyer, the new artistic collection, the colors look great. And I was like, what? Colors, what? Launch, what? What collection? So I went looking and I looked and I looked on their .com, like on the artisticnails.com. No, Christmas, red holiday looking. I went to Maritime Beauty, which is our local to us distributor. I went to their flyer because you can get the flyer online and um, you know, approximately 22 pages in, here it is. Here's this artistic made to be mystical. It does look beautiful. There's a couple of colors. Mm, there's one color, of course, that I'm a little leery of, but aren't we all when it comes to yellows? There's Goddess of Light, which is a iridescent yellow cream. So it's an iridescent yellow cream. We'll see what that looks like, right? Is it iridescent or is it cream? We're not sure. Would I buy the whole collection? No. Would I buy a couple of them? Probably. I would buy that iridescent yellow cream if it was either iridescent or cream. Um, you know, if it was if it was right for me, I would purchase it. The rest of them, I'm not sure. It says the range is soft enough to be perfect for spring while also being true to the signature sass of artistic color maven. What does that mean? Do we know what that means? I don't know what that means. I mean, if I'm in the store, I don't tend to buy a huge amount from Maritime Beauty anymore. I used to. I used to buy absolutely everything. I, I just don't. It's, it's just not where I go to. I follow the files. And my files, I've said it a thousand times. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it. But my favorite files are the Ugly Duckling Medium. And I get those from AR. So that's kind of where I tend to go to. The next two things that I wanted to mention on the will I buy it are a yes, because I already bought them and they will be here shortly, hopefully before I go back to work. Shipping's been a bit weird. I mean, everything's a bit weird right now. I have the Peacock collection from the Unbelievable Gels from Glitterbell's Nail Throne. I also have Dark Jewels collection and one more, I think I got the Pastels collection. I'm pretty sure I did. I only grabbed these two for right now to show you as a screenshot because I kind of felt like they were more, I mean, it is still February or no, no, it's still January. Although February and then March is coming really soon. I'll do the pastels in another uh, video. A couple of videos back, I did a rearranging of my gel polish colors and that was specifically for these collections. I knew they were coming and I knew they were going to need space to live. So will I buy it? Yes, I will. I already did. I think they're going to be beautiful. I have literally only had one unbelievable gel that I didn't love. If I was at the salon, I would tell you exactly what color it is, but I actually have no idea. It was a blue. It was not my favorite. Sometimes if they kind of marinate for a bit and sit for a bit, the texture of them changes and they get better. I'm hoping that happens with this one. I haven't had it back open, but literally there's one that I didn't love out of all of the ones that I've gotten. I think that's pretty good odds. If there's any of these things that you've purchased or any of these things that you want to purchase, or maybe if there's a brand that I haven't touched on that you would like me to touch on next time or get my opinion about, or maybe see if I've purchased it. Let me know down below. The algorithm, blah, 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 blah. The algorithm loves it when you comment and I love it as well because I love talking to you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and I'll see you in the next one.